Hi, and welcome back to Everyday Counseling. Today it is communication, politics, and REBT, Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy. Now, one of the problems that we have in communicating, especially about politics, is that we tend to get very frustrated with people that don't see things the way we do. Uh, we have certain demands that we have. People must see things the way we do. They should see it our, our way. Why don't they see it our way? What's the matter with them? And I can't stand it when people just don't see things as rationally and as logically as I do. Well, Albert Ellis, the founder of REBT, said that those things that uh, get us the most in trouble, that make us the most upset, are having these unrealistic demands, these shoulds, these musts. Um, people should see things our way. They must see things our way. Uh, I can't stand it when they do. And Albert Ellis would say, well, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence that people should see things the way you want them to just because you want them to? You may prefer they do. You may hope they do. But there's no evidence they must just because you demand it. Um, Where's the evidence that you can't stand it when people disagree with you? Of course you can stand it. You're not going to melt in a puddle uh, like the, uh, the witch in Wizard of Oz. Uh, you can stand it. Uh, you just don't like it. So if we change our demands to preferences, I would prefer it if people saw things a certain way, but they don't have to. Um, I don't demand that they must, and I'm not going to uh, dehumanize and demonize people if they just have a difference uh, of opinion. So trying to rid ourselves of these um, demands, these musts, these shoulds, these ought tos, and replacing them with preferences and wants and desires probably would lead to uh, much better emotional reactions and uh, better interactions with people. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.